And it's your boy Asamani and today I'm finally back with another reaction video So guys I was sitting next to my mom when I got the update saying that this trailer just came out and then I read Amita Bach and I was like oh, you can't be serious and they weren't serious because <laughs> he's gonna be in this but he's gonna be playing a small guest appearance but still I haven't seen Amita Bachan in a movie for so long so I'm super excited to see this it has some big named actors, their name is Chiranjeevi and we've got Ram Charan. This trailer will be, this movie sorry, will be out completely on the 2nd of October so make sure you guys watch. Now I'm going to be do doing a reaction on a Sai Ra trailer, it's called Sai Ra Narasimha Ready trailer. It's basically about a person in 1846, he was a rebel, he went up against the British army. So let's see how this trailer goes. Guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you like the channel, leave a like at the end if you want. Follow me on Instagram, Asad underscore Armani. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on everything. All the social media will be linked below. Guys, this is my reaction to Na Asaira Narasimha Reddy, the trailer. Let's go. नरसिम्हा रेड्डी कोई आम आदमी नहीं है वो एक लक्ष्य लेकर जन्म है वो एक योगी है एक योद्धा उसे अब कोई नहीं रोक सकता धरती हमारी इसका अनाज हमारा तो फिर हम तुझे लगा क्यों दें? स्वतंत्रता के लिए ये पहला युद्ध इस युद्ध को तुम्हें जीत रहा हूं मैं तुम्हारी जीत को अपनी आंखों से देखने आया हूं सायरा नरसिंह रेड्डी वीरता के लिए मशहूर तमिलनाडु से आया हूँ साथ रख लीजिए राम लक्ष्मण की तरह साथ रहेंगे चाहे वो वीरता में हो या वीर गति में लक्ष्मण नाम के आगे नरसिम्हा जोड़ दीजिए बस आप मुझे कभी नहीं छोड़ेंगे दीजिए वचन बता दो नरसिम्हा रेड्डी कहाँ है Shoot them! स्वतंत्रता के लिए प्रजा का आंदोलन अपनी भारत भूमि पर खड़ा होकर मैं तुम्हें सावधान करता हूं मेरा देश छोड़कर चले जा वरना युद्ध हो भारत माता की If you have a last wish, tell me now in one sentence. Get out from my motherland! That's a pretty good last wish. 2nd of October, it is coming out guys. Make sure you go watch. Now, I've written some things about who Narasimha Reddy is. And let's get real quickly into it. I won't take too much of your time. So I wrote some noise and quick notes on this, guys. So I'm going to be running through quickly about what this actually is about. It's based on a true story. As you saw, it said, Narasimha Reddy, he was basically part of a family. He had three, well, there were three brothers all together. Narasimha Reddy was the youngest of the three. Now, in 1846, he actually rose against the British Empire. What happened was the British obviously came into the land and what they started saying was, okay, people that are passing away, we're going to keep their land and we're not going to give it to the, you know, the uh, relatives or anything like that. They're, they're 
they've passed away to ours now, the governments. And if you want it, you have to buy it from us. So in 18, that started happening in the 1820s roughly. And once that happened, they said, not that not on my watch at least so Narasim already he's one of the rebels one of the first rebels that led the cause of saying no this is not definitely happening so 1846 they started fighting and they started raising some rebels and as they started growing and growing they had 5,000 people 5,000 strong people that ended up fighting against the British army now they versus the British the British army that they had it was in a specific town there wasn't that many people so they ended up taking over and you can see on the fort, he's standing at the front, he said, come, come fight. And you can see he's holding the flag as well. Now he has around around 4,800 people because 200 people died in the first clash. The British ended up pushing through and getting to, um, arresting all of them. And basically what happened was, notice him already, they caught him and charged him. So the charge actually took place in 1846 in July and they took over everything happened. He got the fort and whatnot. And then on the 22nd of February, 1847, which is around six, seven months later, they ended up catching um, Narasimha Reddy and they actually executed him. And that's what you can see at the end. They said, do you have any last wishes? And they put the Parsi, I think it's called in Urdu. I don't know if it's the same in Hindi, but they put the Parsi, the thing that you put around your neck for execution. They said, do you have any last wishes? And he's like, yes, why don't you leave my country? So pretty interesting stuff then he basically guys so there was a book written and published in 2015 as of recently so if you want to go check it out go check it um 2015 all the historians and everything put everything together and i guess this movie is based off that that um book that was actually made to say hey this is what he done this is what he didn't do and whatnot it's actually like a big part of history of the indian history it says it was a one of the first freedom battles for india and it was very of course look where they are now they're a, you know one of the biggest countries biggest nation biggest nations very powerful as well so narasimha already could could have been one of the first freedom fighters for what india is today so it's very significant guys it's a big part of history and i don't know man he rose against it and he ended up getting executed and to say with such conviction whilst you're about to get slaughtered you're saying hey get out of my country and you're saying long live india man you need some guts for that so honestly notice him already wherever you are you've done some good stuff for india and man a lot of countries have such rich history and you don't even realize i saw this and i had to research before i watched it because i thought it would be rude of me just to watch and say hey oh wow what a cool trailer looks cool so that was my that was a little bit of my homework that I did for you guys. I hope, I know I couldn't give it its full attention, but I hope I covered at least a little bit and gave it a little bit more respect than I should. So guys, if you like this reaction, I would love if you subscribed and leave a like on the video. And if you want to follow my social media, Asad underscore Armani on Instagram, and you got my TikTok and I'm doing fun videos there. Honestly guys, means so much. Your support is nuts. Love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. This is your boy Asan Armani. Peace.